folks, welcome to Travi J's Space here on YouTube. And welcome to another uh, episode of Let's Talk here on Travi J's Space, where of course we just talk. We just talk, 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 talk. We talk all day long. Uh, <laughs> well, not, not exactly. Um, but we, we definitely talk, and there's a lot to talk about. We aren't playing any games. We're not being distracted. Put your phone away. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so no problem, right? Let's jump into it. So, for today's episode of Let's Talk, um, I kind of just actually want to take a moment. I think this is pretty incredible. Um, already that we've gotten to this episode will be episode how it written down episode 17 okay so that's my notes <laughs> I was like there's nothing down here uh, 17 of let's talk season 10 so far that's incredible I'm shocked I mean it's been uh, I guess pretty much three months since we got let's talk back in its place and got those gears turning and you know got back to recording and all of that um other but before then it kind of just sat in stagnant the intro for the it's a funny fact actually the intro for the show i created and uploaded about a year ago and then i just yeah i never went forward with recording for let's talk or anything like that so it was kind of sad it just sat there and didn't have any purpose and stuff so yeah so it's crazy to think that in three months we've we've already managed 17 episodes whoa um there might be a couple more for the new year because i know this video will be scheduled probably for i'm gonna check <laughs> uh so the 12th is 16th this one will probably be scheduled for the 19th so we've got the 23rd and the 26th. So we've got the 23rd being episode 18, 26 Boxing Day being episode 19, and then the Friday. Okay, so Friday the 30th will be the 30th video on the 30th. Oh, cool. Or 20th, 20, 20th episode on the 30th. Not 30th episode. <laughs> oh, my Atlanta. Wouldn't that be something? Um, so yeah, actually one interesting thing too, I did want to also point out, um, is that, uh, um, oh God, I'm drawing a blank. Oh, the train is not allowed to leave the station just yet. Don't you dare start pulling those horns. Oh yeah. So once episode 20 on the 30th has been released, um, I've decided that for 2023, we'll move into season 11 of Let's Talk and uh, there's not going to be much changes. Um, I kind of like the way we have things laid out for Let's Talk um, when it comes to like branding, you know, the intro video that took a lot of work to do and I really wish I looked better when I was recording it. Um, <laughs> and so it's in black and white to eliminate a lot of things that I particularly did not find very, uh, <laughs> anyways so but yeah we're gonna keep we're gonna keep all of that going the branding uh yeah thumbnails stuff like that i think it's gonna keep it the same um because i feel like it really hasn't had its full shot it hasn't been able to have its full potential seen yet so we'll give it another season another 20 episodes uh for season 11 and then maybe for season 12 we'll dive into something different who knows um yeah suggestions would be nice if you want to drop some comments below and set up some suggestions for what uh, season 12 might bring for let's talk you got lots of time so come up with your ideas i want to see <laughs> i want to see bristol boards i want to see those long extender things exhibit a exhibit b show me what you got show me your your concept art and stuff like that but of course, stick to the channel colors, the purple and the, the turquoise. <laughs> that would be pretty cool, actually, if, if, if someone did that. I would probably just take, 
there probably there probably only be one person who did it and I'd probably just say right away done you win you're I'll put your name on it we're sold let me just go and translate this and put it in there and da 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 that'd be pretty cool um, so of course I am actually getting very distracted like I usually say in the beginning of the episode no distractions but here I am going off on this tangent about the future of Let's Talk. But I did think it was important just to mention that, that uh, the 30th will be the season finale of Let's Talk for season 10. And into the new year, we will be uh, jumping into season 11. Very exciting stuff. Um, however, this episode is actually about um, uh, the changes that will be taking place in 2023 with Travis J Space. Um, and this has to do with, <clears throat> excuse me, Travis J Space as a whole. So this includes um, just kind of the way that we work things here or kind of just the process of things. Um, a lot of things that, you know, I think fans, uh, fans and watchers and viewers and strangers even have come to know as a normalcy at the channel. Is normalcy a word? I'm pretty sure it is. I like to use that word a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, there's there's a lot of changes. Um, so I thought I would go through the changes here in this video. Um, I already did post uh, the announcement in three separate posts. Um, well, in one post, but three separate slides explaining, you know, my health, how things are um, progressing. Uh, and that there's like you know a continued deterioration a downward slope happening um, so it's kind of forced me to reevaluate and uh, take kind of every inch and every nook and cranny into consideration moving forward um, kind of reevaluating my limits and how much I can handle um, I like to think that I can handle it all and I can just get the most done just squeeze every minute and hour with some creation or upload or, or edit or you know post or whatever but I really can't and uh, it's I gotta accept that and understand that there's a certain there's certain limits now to what I can and cannot do so um, in reflection to that, I have come up with a list of changes that will take place in 2023. And like I said, you guys have probably already read it on uh, the Trapper Juice Space account on Instagram. And if you're on my private Instagram, I'm sure you already saw the repost there as well. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, the importance of these the, this transition, this change, um, is to just be able to do to, con <laughs> to be able to continue doing what I love and what I'm passionate about um, but to do it in a way where I am not gonna make myself I put myself in a worse position or accelerate things with my health and put myself in a position where I might not be able to do much at all much quicker if that makes sense so it's almost like, you know, slow and steady instead of the whole fast and crazy I'm used to. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's it's a beneficial thing for, for me. It's, it's, it's a, <laughs> I'm gonna say it's about me. <laughs> um, but it, it kind of is. I, I, I kind of have to be a little selfish here. And I've always been, I've always understood selfishness as a positive word because people tend not to give themselves enough thought or enough credit or enough um, seriousness. They don't take enough time to sit with themselves and go, wow, you know, you accomplished this the other day. Take that in. Or, you know, you really need to slow down. <laughs> You're moving too fast, okay? Realize that, yeah. And then have a moment. You versus you. That's what I like to call it. Me versus me. Like when I go to bed at night or I meditate in the morning, it's a me versus me moment. And that can last up to two hours maybe. But it's important. So I think selfishness has its positive moments. I really think it does. I think it has more positive 
constructive and motivational moments than it does negative. But that's because I'm just, I'm half, glass half full, optimism, peace, love, chicken wings. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, chicken wings. <laughs> Ow. Oh. <laughs> I'm laughing too hard. Oh, I I don't know where that came from, but I'm <laughs> Oh gosh, but anyways, you know what I mean. Um, or I, I don't even know what I mean because I can't even remember what it was I was talking about. Um, yeah, being selfish, right, okay. Back to the top of the script. Yeah, so 2023 is about going inward for me. It's about focusing back on, uh, it's kind of like balancing the scales, you know? I've been Travis J. Space so much that, you know, uh, my inner being is crumbling, you know what I mean? It's not that it is crumbling, it's, it's, it has never gotten to that place where I'm actually on the verge of, you know, like, panic and who am I and all that crap, you know, I've been there one too many times and I know what it feels like when it comes on, so I know that this is like early, early, early warning signs from the universe saying, listen, Travis, relax, slow down. It's not all about Travis J's space, even though you think it is. Just breathe. So yeah, I'm going inward. It's like I'm going to a retreat where I can just be alone and have silence and just, but it's, it's instead it's my bedroom and it's the morning and I usually breakfast first. And <laughs> so it's kind of the same, but not really, not the same environment, but it doesn't really matter as long as you can provide yourself uh, a safe, comfortable, loving, neutral space to, to clean yourself up and get your inner workings all combobulated, then hey, it works, it works, it works. <laughs> so yeah, 2023, um, slow pace. It's gonna be rabbit mode, Travis space. So now let's get into what that entails. So, uh, okay, so I actually don't have the notes where I usually have the notes. I have them up on the screen from the actual posts that you guys have probably already read. Um, so I'm just going to break it down further. And that was the whole point of the video is kind of taking the, sh the points I made and expanding a little bit so I can uh, maybe answer some questions, clear the air about certain things, or maybe just provide more information uh, regarding each um, point. So the, the first and foremost thing that uh, I thought was really important to be done with that I thought was very expendable because it's it's just kind of redundant. It It's me being old school thinking it's important when it's not. Is the ads on Travis J Space Instagram page. Um, I know that there are a lot of people that that um, enjoy them they get a lot they, they get a handful of likes um, not all of them but some of them do um, however I find I'm finding now uh, just with my health and everything else in consideration that uh, it's becoming a lot of work for me um, it used to be something I enjoyed you know in my checklist it would be like okay remember to post ads for this and then the previews as well, the little, you know, usual, usually a minute clips of um, that episode that's being advertised. I used to enjoy doing that and sharing that and creating that because creating the ad itself, that's a bunch of work. Um, creating the previews themselves, that's also a bunch of work. And then getting the captions ready and everything else and then posting it all, it, it takes, it's very time consuming and energy consuming for sure. Um, especially <laughs> when you're releasing a video five days a week um, or you've, you've scheduled episodes to premiere, yeah, five days a week, Monday to Friday. Um, 
and that's not five videos that's actually seven because of let's talk so let's talk as you know there are mondays and fridays so to put into perspective you know sunday night i have to upload the three ads for the next episode on the monday with the three previews so now we're at six posts and all the work that entails that, you know, going to different apps to create the post and everything else. And then, because it's a Let's Talk Monday, I have to then upload three more pieces of advertising, uh, one of which being of the preview for the episode. Um, so now we're up to nine posts. <laughs> Sunday nights suck. <laughs> I mean, I used to love it, right? I, I did have a joy for it. I, there was a place for it in my heart. And uh, and it was, yeah, it wasn't so heavy, but I'm real, really kind of understanding and realizing where my health sits now and where it's going. And I think that that's just something that just does, it's just not necessary. It doesn't need to be a part of the regime, the work day, it, it's just, and, it's just not happening and it really hasn't done much for for the views around here at Trevor J's space or you know just uh, a flow of new people coming in or anything like that I mean I have had a lot of new people uh, connect through different types of uh, content on there before but it's very rare it's a very rare situation and uh, yeah Instagram just I feel like is not the place for ads and stuff like that, you just kind of get a lot of bots. Nobody likes bots. <laughs> um, so yeah, so posts on Trevor J's Space uh, Instagram page will probably cease entirely. Um, I'm not sure if I will still be active on that account. Oh, sorry, no. Oh goodness me, I am. I am certain that I will periodically be active on that account because there are a lot of you that I truly love so much. I really love your pages and the content you post. There's a lot of Nancy Drew um, Etsy creators and designers on there that I just adore. Um, I always want to say Goob and Jetpack, but I feel like it's I'm saying that wrong every single time. But you guys are awesome. I love I love your ambiance soundtrack videos. They just let me just say actually I've been listening to them a lot recently during editings or going through the Trevor J Space stuff and doing cleaning up or postings or uh, uh, editing, processing or upload if it's an upload day or whatever. Whatever it is, if I throw one of those on, I am just in complete bliss. And the fact that they're so long too, oh, I praise you. Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's so many. Red Wolf, you've been my ride or die in the Clue Crew since the beginning, and I love you. There's just so many people, and there are so many creative geniuses out there that I have on, on Trevor J. Space Instagram that I just cannot and will not just disconnect or disassociate from I just couldn't it break my heart and it shattered into a million little pieces so I'll post I'm thinking of doing like a once a month update post very colorful maybe in a video format uh, something like that just to keep up with you guys and let you know how I'm doing and uh, what's going on at the channel so it'd be like a personal slash channel based business uh, related update video basically um so that that will be something i think i'll look into doing for, for instagram but i just um i find for me that instagram is not a place i like to be i don't like to spend my time on instagram and it can become very toxic and just very you know <laughs> even if it's just you know things i like to see like puppy dogs being cute or funny memes or you know there's just it's too much it's too much I, I, there's so much more things I could be doing with my time and it just sucks your energy dry so I'm stepping away from that now I did want to go back to the ad thing um, since there won't be any more ads or previews or things of that nature no more reminders you know click notify me link in bio blah 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 it's very important that y'all turn your notifications on Ding on Trevor J's space because you will not you will not now 
or after 2023, well, I'm just think I might just stop now, but <laughs> but you will not have that forewarning that there's a new episode or something new's coming. You won't know through Travis J's Space Instagram anymore. So make sure to go turn your bell on your notifications. You'll probably get a lot of notifications, but hey, at least you'll know and you'll be in the loop and it gives you something to click on when you sign into your YouTube every day. I know I love, pardon me, I know I love to see that bell light up with notifications. I love it. If I go to YouTube and there's nothing, I'm like, oh, even if it's just, you know, this channel you love uh, uploaded a new video. I guess that's exactly what I'm trying to but yeah, I like when that happens. <laughs> it's usually the Royal Family video channel that I just adore. They're like the official one. And they always upload new videos. And I mean, I don't click them all the time or I'll click them and add them to my watch later list. But yeah, um, basically the same thing. I guess just keep your notifications on and we will stay in the loop. We will be, we'll be together. It'll be okay. We won't separate ever, ever, ever. Um, so yes, overall activity on Instagram will cease. Uh, it also includes my private Instagram as well. I want to try to limit my time on there as much as I can. Uh, I will definitely respond to inboxes and messages because there are some people that, um, that's the only way we can communicate. So I get it for sure. Um, it might just not be responded to right away. So you have patience. <laughs> Uh, yeah, update posts once a month, posted to IG to check in with everyone, likely be in video format because I'm good at that. So we'll, I'll probably have a, a specific video to check in with everyone and keep it brief and short and just kind of tell it, let everyone know what's good, what's going on. Um, but there will also be like, let's talk channel update videos as well. Cause I have one. So we, in season 10 so far, we've got one for October, November to December, and then season 11, January, you know, all that stuff. So there will be a channel update, more detailed, longer, uh, channel update videos through let's talk. But, um, I'm just thinking that the posts on Instagram will be more of like a personal, a little personal, a little, uh, business, you know, Charity Day Space, uh, update post. And it'll be short, short and sweet, you know, nice and brief. Um, try to get everything out all at once. Cause you know me, I like to trail on and next thing you know, it's been like shy of an hour and people are yawning or half in the bag or falling asleep. <laughs> and I'm still yapping on. <laughs> um, yeah, so what's the other thing? Two more things, actually. Um, so episode uploads will be cut down. Uh, as of right now, I usually upload about seven videos. I usually have scheduled seven videos a week. That's Monday to Friday. Um, five days a week of episode, let's, let's play episodes. And then the extra two are um, let's talk Mondays and let's talk Fridays. So a total of seven videos. I would like to cut that down to five videos a week, Monday to Friday. Um, I might just make, I'm not sure how that's going to be laid out yet. Um, it might just be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, let's play. And then Monday, Friday being the let's talk Mondays and let's talk Fridays. And then that's it. Um, I'm not sure though. I'm, I'm, I think it would probably play out best that way. We'll just have a talk day on Monday, talk day on Friday, and then play for the rest of the week right there in the middle, you know, in the, the middle of it all. So yeah. Um, another big thing as well, I think um, this format will be a lot easier. I finally am going to get into the Twitch. <laughs> I know it's been set up. It's been sitting there. It's been collecting dust, but I will be starting Twitch streams come 2023. Um, that is finally because I just feel like I've always felt like the Twitch streams are a lot easier. They're laid back. There's really no editing or things that need to be done other than taking the recording and uploading it into my Twitch archive on Travis J Space YouTube channel, which all episodes will be. Um, yeah, it just feels a little laid back. It feels like something I can handle, um, start 
and stop whenever I feel like it, you know, and uh, um, connect with an audience, like live time. I think that would be kind of cool and I think it would be a lot easier for, for me just in regards to my health and stuff like that. I think it'll help kind of create that slower pace and put it into action and just go with the flow, do what I want to do and how I want to do it when I want to do it. <laughs> So Twitch streams will finally become relevant for Tribe of Jay's Space. Um, yeah, that's the last one, but I really feel like there was more. Oh, ha, the last point I wanted to make as well for 2023, the big deal, the big kahuna, the, uh, the big, dinner option for tonight chef's choice on the menu <laughs> five star meal um nancy drew clue crew we are not done and we will never well we will be done eventually but we are not stopping there is no halt in the process here when it comes to nancy drew nancy drew will always 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 be top priority here at travis j space so uh, the mysteries we have still to solve, we are going to solve them together. And there may be times where, um, there may be times where, because I do also want to stop some series. There are some series of 2023 that will cease and no longer be, um, running. They will be canceled, I guess. I hate using the word cancel, but they'll be canceled and, uh, um, We'll focus more on Nancy Drew and, and some of the more uh, prioritized Let's Plays. The ones that I find are just a lot more interactive and fun and ones you can just keep going and going and going. Like The Sims, Betty and Bob, that series is in season two. It's in full swing. It's not going anywhere. Space Colony, not going anywhere. Uh, Empire Earth 2, I don't know. But anyways, that that's something that's, you know, you'll just notice over time um, but Nancy Drew mysteries are going to be so relevant it'll make your fingers burn we are gonna keep going and going and going and going and that also means jump scare compilations those are still coming too uh, unfortunately though when it comes to the short films that I was doing kind of for each Nancy mystery um, those are gonna come to a sad end actually unfortunately um, it's again it's a lot of work and it's uh, a little too much for me to to get invested with um, which is sad for me because I really enjoyed making a lot of those uh, all the different ones that are out there um, but uh, but yeah it's it's gonna be smooth sailing for 2023 <clears throat> we're gonna have a lot more a lot more laid-back relaxed activity I mean I am anyways it's gonna be a lot more uh, it, it's, it's going to be a lot more exciting and uh, relaxing for me. And, you know, who knows? I might be able to conserve some more energy be it through all these changes and be able to just kind of deliver a better experience. I mean, who knows? That's to be seen. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I just don't want to work myself to the bone and then kind of just drain myself of of all of my energy and my, you know, my gusto. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, it's back to me. I'm coming back to me. <laughs> like that Lindsay Lohan song I love so much. Um, yeah, I'm coming back to me. And uh, 2023, I'm coming back to me. And we're cutting back a lot of activity. We're cutting back on just about everything that you can think of and it's gonna be something that you're gonna have to keep on top of um, or yeah basically sorry no more ads no more reminders it's up to you now and it might be kind of cool if you forget like for a couple weeks of oh, Travis J space look it up and there's like eight new episodes for you to, to bite on and munch on and yum, yum 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 get your get your hands in there you know so that's always a nice surprise, I find. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for me uh, when it comes to this huge announcement and what 2023 is going to look like and the transition and the changes 
and where we're going with all this. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be, it's going to be a great year. We're going to have some great times. We're going to make some amazing memories. We are going to solve some dang mysteries and we're just going to kick a lot of butt and celebrate every day and just enjoy every breathing moment that comes our way this following year, this coming year. And I'm really excited to do that all with you guys. Again, another year, another year. Thir year 13 for Travis J's Space. Wow. I would have never thought a little 12 year old, 13 year old me never would have ever imagined any of this. I'm telling you, wild. All right, folks. Well, now you know, you're in the loop. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> And you know everything that I know, and as far as I'm concerned, it's just, uh, it's not going to be a big deal, really. You know? It's just, it, it's, it's just going to be more practical. You know, more of a practical setup. And it's, it's going to be beneficial for everyone. And, uh, yeah. Like I always say, I'm never going to stop. This is a forever thing. This is my legacy. This is who I am and what I do and what makes this heart of mine just soar. So I will never stop. The show must go on. And so it shall in 2023. Alrighty then. <laughs> Toodles for now. Ta-ta. Ciao. Till next time. Howdy, folks. Did you like that video? Well, then why don't you go ahead and give that thumbs up a smackaroo. Don't want to miss out on the next episode? Give the subscribe button some love and make sure to turn your notifications on. That way I can give you a bell a ring, let you know when it is served. Still need more to chew on? Take a bite of my new YouTube Instagram account at Travi J Space to keep up to date with the channel's inner workings and news of upcoming projects and episodes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.